Okay, so I want to quickly show you where to add the image alt text for good SEO. This is where you can add keywords um, to any of your images that you're placing on a Wix page. So when you've added your image to the page, um, and this has to be an image, it can't be a strip, um, but once your image is added, you can put it wherever you want it. Um, the SEO settings are hidden. You want to click on this little settings icon here, and then you'll see this is your little image settings box. Um, this is where you're going to set up a link if you want the image to link somewhere. Um, you can say what you want it to do, if it can be magnified or open in a pop-up or nothing, or um, by default it just has a link open if you have a link applied here. And then if you scroll down here, um, this is also a handy tool for resizing the image to make sure the proportions are right, because sometimes when you resize things, the crop changes. And if you want to reset it to be what the image was originally, you can click on this which is nice. Um, and this is if you have the box size a certain way, you can stretch it or have it auto fit. Um, I usually leave auto on that. But um, as you can see, you have to scroll down here to get to the image text area. This alt text here, this is what tells Google what's in this image. So this is where you want to add keywords. So um, I'm going to put in here certified acceptance agent because this, that's one of the main keywords that we want you to be found for. Um, it's always good to name each image individually and differently, a little bit differently, so you can call it Certified Acceptant Agent in London. Um, so there you go. That's, uh, that's where you add your SEO keywords to any images. So whenever you add images to the site, make sure to add those image alt texts. Um, just to quickly show you, there's also the blog. I'm going to go into the blog here. Sorry for the crop out here. We're going to do the same thing in the blog. Um, so we're going to manage the posts. I'm going to click on one of these blog posts. Get this here. Um, the image alt text for in blog posts is actually located here. So when you when you have that picture in the blog, um, when you click on that image, this is where that image alt text is. So again, make sure to name this with good keywords for things that are related to what you're writing about and also keywords that are actually being searched by users so that um, Google knows that this image is related to whatever those keywords are. So that's all for um, uh, titling your page images with SEO tags. It's called alt image text and it is important so make sure to always add that to all your pictures.